Or your family. When it comes to family vacations, couples retreats, boys trips, or girls trips, don't you hate when one of the crew or a couple decides to flake out? Their flakiness can put a real damper on the visions that you had of how exciting the vacation is going to be. It saddens everyone when that day to get away is right around the corner and one of the main people that you was looking forward to chilling with is nowhere to be found. Sometimes they'll start giving little hints that they are about to back out when there's only a few days left in departure. Why are people so flaky when it comes to vacations? Don't they realize that if they just came, not only would they enjoy the trip, but by not being there, they're undermining the experience that everyone who's going was planning to share. Today we will take a look at the psychology of flaky people. Then I'll give you some tips on how to spot the flaky hints people are given, how to respond to them when they start flaking, how to stop them from flaking, if you can, the surprise benefits of having people be flaky, and what to do about flaky people so you can make sure that this never happens to you again. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. Now, if that's a topic you like, hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. So why are people so flaky? To be honest, the age of social media has increased flakiness to an all-time high. People who are living their lives online have become incredibly antisocial in real life. The anxiety levels of regular people having regular conversations are completely out of control. According to Medical News Today, social media may trigger feelings of inadequacy. People may feel as though their life or appearance does not compare favorably with that of others on social media, leading to feelings of envy and dissatisfaction. Social media is not only a problem with teenagers when it comes to having social skills in the real world, it's a problem with adults too. Many times adults won't have these feelings creep up on them until the date of a vacation starts staring them in the face. I think anxiety is the main reason for flakiness before a trip, but there are other reasons people feel the need to back out. Sometimes they just don't like being around you that much. The thrill of talking about going away and spending a week at an island paradise may have only been their way of making small talk. They weren't taking the conversation seriously, they was just passing the time. This happens a lot when people are at work or in a social setting where drinking is involved. Right after the plans start to seriously develop, they'll start regretting even letting the conversation get that far. These people will sometimes not have the courage without the liquid courage to let you know that they were just yapping to be yapping. When an older dude invites a chick that he's been eyeing away for the weekend, many times the dude will be expecting sex in return for his international tricking spree. If a chick doesn't like you in this country, she's not going to automatically become sexually attracted to you on a remote island either. Instead of saying this outright, many women choose to flake when the time comes in order to avoid the whole uncomfortable situation. On boys or girls trips, there are some people that would like to get away with you, but they know the type of deviant things that you like to partake in when you're out of town, and it makes them uncomfortable. Chasing sex after they've decided to be faithful to their spouse at home is a big one. They know the demon time that you're on, and they may have outgrown it, or would only want to be an international sex star of lunatic if they were to find someone who is truly interesting to them. Being criticized for not using a vacation for sexual shenanigans may stress them out right before the trip. Could it be your expectations that's making them flaky? Also, in general, they may not be able to afford what it would take to make the vacation worth it. People can sometimes underestimate the cost of travel, hotels, food, entertainment, and excursions. When the price tag is presented to them, they may not have saved enough or they may feel it's more than they're willing to spend. You have to realize that while most people are on vacation, they're not only spending money, but they're also losing money because they're not home and at work. If that's you, some great ways to make money while traveling can be found in my free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More, which you can get at my website, www.passportkings.com for free. I'll put a link above. And if you're finding value in this video so far, make sure you hit the like button. Some of your friends may love the idea of going to a tropical paradise dice with you, but when they find out who else you're inviting, their flakiness might start building up. Their stomachs will be asking them the famous question of, who all gonna be over there? Having social interactions with the crew you've assembled may be stressing them out. Some habits your other friends have might be cool with you, but sometimes the crew you've gathered really can't stand each other. Or maybe they don't mind your other friends, but they're just not looking forward to being cooped up with them for five to ten days on vacation. 
They would probably never associate with each other if it weren't for you. Instead of telling you that they don't like your other friends, they may just start conjuring up a master plan to flake out on you. One more thing that could cause people to become flaky at vacation time is body issues. This especially goes for some women. No one wants to be the fat one in the Instagram picture. So how to tell someone is about to flake out on the vacation? People tell on themselves when they're about to flake out on vacation plans. They'll always start giving hints when you bring up the subject of the getaway. They'll say things like, these bills are getting serious over here. Or, my baby father's been tripping lately. Or, I heard the kidnapping people out there. Or, did you check the weather for the days that we're gonna be there? Or, my friends went there and they said it's overrated. Or, my kids are, insert excuse here. Some of these excuses may be legitimate, but when added on to the other reasons I've mentioned above, it may justify, at least in your friend's mind, why they are not able to make it. At least when they start telling you these things, you'll know to get prepared for who I call Flakes the Jones. So what do you do to keep the travel plans together? Sometimes you'll need to guilt trip them by letting them know that the vacation would be so much better with them than without them. You can make this conversation about how much their being there will mean to you. You could probably talk about how much sharing this adventure will be more exciting as a team rather than you having to go at it alone. But what I found is that people are self-centered and will hold even tighter to their excuses when you tell them how their decision not to go is ruining the vacation for you. Your best bet is to tell them how going will benefit them. As they start to hint about not going, this is your opportunity to turn the tables and start hinting to them how much they will miss out on by not going. So how do you stop someone from being flaky? Easy, videos and pictures. People hate not being in the picture when you're on a tropical island that you share on Instagram. Use their addiction to social media to dangle the likes and follows that they'll miss out on if they don't go. Another thing to do when you start noticing flakiness in their sentences is to start talking about how important it is that humans stick to their word. If you don't know any famous quotes, I'm gonna give you a list of 24 quotes from azquotes.com. And you can make those into memes and put them on your social media pages as the time is getting closer. Then use reverse psychology and talk them into giving a speech about how sticking to one's word is so important. Bring up a time when someone disappointed them by breaking a promise so they could subconsciously jump on your side in the fight against flaky people. If you know they're having a body issue, get a cheap gym membership with them so you guys can work out together leading up to the trip date. Tell them to download a calorie counting app, then start a competition with them to see who could lose the most weight within the days leading up to the getaway. I personally lost over 20 pounds using this method. I hardly lifted any weights. All I did was walk on a treadmill for one hour every day for about two and a half months. I also made sure I didn't go over the calories that the app decided I would need to lose the amount of weight that I wanted to lose in that time period. It was honestly an easy process. I played Candy Crush while walking on the treadmill at the gym and by the time my five lives was over, the hour was almost up. Then I played Candy Crush Soda. Additionally, I found pre-made dinners at my local Kroger and public supermarkets. They have the calories right on top of the package. Type those numbers into the app and you'll be amazed at how much and what you can eat without going over your daily calorie limit. This could be considered manipulation, but in the beginning they said they wanted to go. If you were trying to coerce them to go after they told you from the start that they had no desire to go, then it'd be wrong. You could just consider it motivation. If worse comes to worse, just let it be known that short notice flakiness will critically impact your plans, especially if anyone was going to share rooms. So a couple of things to do to avoid that is to First of all, get them heavily involved in the planning process. Make them choose the hotel or resort. Make them plan the excursions that y'all gonna do. Add them to Facebook travel groups. Send them YouTube videos from people who have done reviews about the destination. Show them pictures of your past vacations and tell them stories about how they changed you. Go out to dinner before the trip with all your friends and discuss the trip. Send them articles, podcasts, videos, and even some rap songs dealing with the anxiety. Now, there are pros of people flaking out on you because sadly all of this information still may not help some people are just flaky and unadventurous the good thing is this may make your vacation better in all sorts of ways people who were flaky but were still brought along on a vacation can be a real drag they'll find negatives in everything that happens negative talk could put a drag on everyone and bring down the whole experience flaky people will be unprepared financially for the vacation and may wind up needing you to front them some money while promising they'll pay you back as soon as you 
y'all get home. This takes away from the money you budgeted for your own expenses for this trip. People who are flaky about going on trips abroad are usually to blame if there's any conflict between anyone in your crew. They'll be standoffish and easily irritated by anything and everyone. This is no way to spend the week. They may not attack others directly, but the others will get fed up with their passive aggressive foolishness and wind up attacking them. No one wants an international conflict. If someone's being flaky, sometimes you just gotta say fuck them and go on with your plans without them. Ask them kindly to let you know as soon as possible that they're not coming. Even if you won't be with others, more and more people are realizing that solo travel is not the end of the world. And it can create some freedoms that I wrote about in a video that I'm gonna link above. If someone flakes out on you while planning your vacation, it's really not the end of the world. Should you cut your flaky friends off? You should absolutely not cut your flaky friends off. I've learned a lot of things in my years on this earth. One that I live by is that people are different. Meaning what makes me happy will not make others happy. No two people are 100% alike. I've also learned that certain zodiac signs like Capricorns get very agitated the further they get away from home. Taurus are stubborn people. Once they made up their mind about not going on a holiday, Thanos himself, even with the Mind Stone, would have a hard time trying to get a Taurus to change his mind. Sagittarius feel like they have to be the leader of whoever they're around. They may flake out simply because they weren't the person who planned the trip. Next time you're walking in a group that includes the Sagittarius, watch how they insist on needing to walk in front of everyone. And lastly, Scorpios are evil. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, but I just figured I'd let everyone know. If you want to learn more about how signs can sometimes predict people's behavior, visit one of those links that I'm putting below and try out their questionnaire. Now the videos that I'm attaching to the end screen show some of the fun that I had on vacation with a semi-large group. Of course, some of the people who were supposed to go flaked out at the last minute. Of course, they used one of the excuses that I mentioned earlier, but I think their anxiety about being in unfamiliar surroundings played a bigger part. There are a lot of methods to eliminate anxiety from your life. I plan on doing another video going over how anxiety can ruin more things than a trip like social interactions and even sexual performance so make sure you're subscribed but for now at least you know how to deal with flaky friends when it's time to explore the world like a king of passports king. Peace.